Hello everyone, this is Torior and welcome back to Stellaris Utopia. And now we're going to try out a new species. We're going to try out a hive mind. And let me show you. Let me show you the details. We went with the uh, cockroaches, we call them the sentient, because in their opinion only they are sentient in the whole world and the rest is just food. And I went with my usual traits, apart from taking extremely ad adaptive, because this time we will mm, only be using this species. No, no, you know, cosmopolitan people and so on. Um, repugnant doesn't really matter if you don't have other species. Sedentary, I don't resettle people. And slow breeders, just because I needed something to get enduring. And we will be following the biological path of ascension, so I will remove this in time. What else? Natural neural network for more research speed and uh, one mind for more unity. And I'll also, when we get an extra bit of these, I will add extra influence. I decided to go with the energy weapons this time, even though I still believe that particle weapons are superior because of their usual greater range, I'll, you know, I'll do something different this time. And I believe wormhole travel, travel is uh, the best. And we went with Anthropoid Purple Ships. All right, let's try out a hive mind. This time we'll go with a super huge galaxy. Should we? Should we go with a super huge galaxy? Maybe not. Let's go with a medium. I do like spiral galaxies. They look very cool. And they sometimes make for weird shapes of empires. Um, I guess I'll leave this alone. Lots of uh, fallen empires. And this time I'm going to decrease the amount of habitable worlds to the minimum. Also, um, I'm going to leave the difficulty at the highest possible of Insane, and I'm not going to do Iron Man, because uh, Iron Man means we will uh, have to wait for a long time uh, for the game to save every month, especially when the game is more advanced. So, let's try out the Hive Mind. Should I get more AI Empires? Let's get some more AI Empires. Yeah, let's. Last time it was kind of easy to, for us to expand. Let's get some more enemies. Well, although we did put out and um, put down that there's less planets, so that's still going to be very, very tough to find something. Find something good. Okay, let's go. Yay! We awoke. The mind studied our surroundings. On the home with a multitude of eyes, we moved as one, building shelters for the drones, developing industry, researching new technologies, and harnessing the resources of the land. Soon we have grown to encompass the entire world. A small number of autonomous, what? autonomous drones were created to serve as independent agents. These were formidable drones. Sorry, I, I can't read this font very well. Uh, these more formidable drones had the capacity for limited free thought, but we still as um, were still as inexorably bound to the one will of the mind as any of the other instruments. As we achieved complete domination over home, the mind became aware of other worlds, orbiting other suns. The most intelligent of our autonomous drones devised new methods of travel, enabling us to cross the vast distances between the stars. Then the, the sentient will soon grow. Oops, I should have named it differently. <laughs> Should have just named us Sentient. Mind us. Ruler, hive minded. The leader is the immortal nexus of the vast cognitive apparatus that constitutes the hive mind. Cool. Hive mind authority. No temporary modifiers. And that's about it. Okay. Let's have a look at our ships. Did we design them to look nice? Yes, purple are cool. All right, let's have a look at our system and the neighboring systems. Okay, there's another continental world you could colonize. We're near the center. There might be some nice... Oh, this is very secluded. Okay. Mm, influence by lab or hydroponic farms. Each of these are good, but we're going to start with influence. Solar panels or fusion reactors. Solar panels and engineering facilities. All right. Getting lots of unity. The combat swarm. Yeah, we went with energy weapons this time. 
and the science ship. Let's survey. So these are supposedly autonomous drones, right? Let's go to leaders, see if we can get any uh, genius scientists. No, we have a maniacal one. Well, I guess I'll recruit the maniacal one. Because I usually like to start with two science -y people. Okay. This time, biological research is going to be quite important for us. So let's do this. Construction ship. Idle for now. Home. Let's get another science ship. And get stuff on the surface. Now, the fun thing about Hive Mind is that you're not affected by happiness. You don't have to give a crap about that. Uh, so, I guess we're having a lot of food. We'll be growing quickly. Should I clear this for more minerals? All this for more energy. No, early game minerals are the most important. I guess I could clear both. I'll clear both. Okay, let us continue. Speed things up. So we can find any... And here it is, minerals. Alright, that changes things. I'm going to cancel this clearing so we have enough to construct a space station. Oh. It's going to be two months before we get enough to do that. Okay, we finished the other science ship. Here we go. Uh, survey uh, this place. Oh, right, and I forgot. I should be sending out my combat drones to survey the area. See if we don't have any threats or anything. Alright, I believe wormhole travel is uh, the best. This is why we're doing uh, that FTL. Alright, let us continue. Oh, and the constructor now has enough minerals to build a mining station. Wonderful. Encounter in Gindor Black Hole. Show me. Void clouds. Dangerous. But void cloud lightning can be a useful weapon in the game. First we would need to destroy them. Which is not that easy. Can you survive? Oh, they're not attacking. Good. Good. Need to wait until we can get enough minerals to build another mining station. And we're gonna suffer no robots or anything. Oh crap! Automated dreadnought right next to our system. Please don't let it kill you. Well, the automated dreadnought can be a very powerful asset to our empire if we can, you know, defeat it and then claim it for ourselves. Oh, that's a lot of minerals, isn't it? I'm liking my starting system more and more. System surveyed. Oh, right then. Let's go over here. Getting a lot of resources is our first priority. Should I set my food stock price to high? No, let's let's stay at what they are right now. How's the growth? Steady. Constructor. Get over here. Get ready to mine. Perfect. Now as an unbusy science ship. Because I could survey this. I have chosen extremely adaptive, so um, with some modifications I will be able to colonize everything. Actually I should be able to colonize everything from the beginning, because I think you need 40% habitability, and we'll get 40% everywhere. I think. Go survey. Constructor. Mining. 
Right, we're gonna need some extra energy soon. Come on, come on. Especially for colonization, which takes up a lot of energy. Habitable world survey. Sure, do that. I wonder, will our leader, the hive mind, will that leader of ours get any skills or traitors or anything? No, I don't think so. That's a pity. That's a bit of a pity. Okay then. Negative balance of energy, but we can handle that. Constructorship. Huh. Two, two, two. I guess we can get a little bit more minerals before we turn to mining energy. Mining energy sounds so weird, doesn't it? Leader, leader has gained a level and we have unlocked a unity perk. Now, how many is useless for us? Because it um, deals with happiness and attraction and all that. Mostly. So that's pointless. Prosperity is always nice. Building cost reduce, induction, ship upkeep, mining station. And the private colony ships are very, very good. I think I'll go with this. Expansion is also nice for quick colonization. Super frontier outposts uh, can be helpful, but I don't usually use them. Pop growth time and development speed. And capital buildings produce more unity. This is the actually only reason to get expansion. Uh, tradition cost caused by number of colonies is reduced. That is pretty good. Apart from that, I think I'll go with prosperity. Which means our mining stations are now a bit cheaper. So, constructor. We should now be able to start building. It's a very powerful first pick. Because the mining stations are so very important at the beginning. Okay, you're doing fine. And we have explored all that we could explore. I did decrease the number of available habitable planets, but we still have a lot here. Did we just get lucky? Doesn't seem plausible. Who gained a level? Leader gained a level. That's fine. Right. When you're done, get me mining station here. Then we might need the energy. And then get me the rest of the mining stations in the system. Free science ship. Go survey. So this should be colonizable, right? Yes, it is. Because we have 40% habitability. Cool. Uh, don't risk the anomaly yet. Which means I can colonize all the planets with extremely extreme, extremely adaptive. We're not going to be very happy, but happiness is irrelevant to us. So we can just colonize whatever. And we can eat all the other species. That we might find anywhere else. Hmm. I'll leave that alone for now. Seems like we're not doing too good on, on power. Guess I could clear this. That will take power as well and will be at almost nothing, which will damage our economy. But clearing that will let me in, assign another uh, guy there, which will in turn recover our energy troubles. So I'm actually thinking ahead, although I'm not thinking ahead enough. Uh, right. Production targets and planetary capital. Planetary capitals are very useful. Hydroponic farms can be helpful as well. Let's go with planetary capitals. Science ship. Uh, what? Is not claim. Okay. It's not claimed. Can you research this anomaly safely? No. Not yet. All right, all right, let's survey something else. Let's say this place. 
A new survey this place. We need to survey everything. So the constructor is done with the energy thingy. And now that this is cleared, we can do that. Power plant. Perfect. And we have energy back. I can continue building stuff. This will also consume energy, which can be a problem. But the resources that we will gain will be worth it. All right then. When you're done, do the other one. Okay, good. What happened? What, we're in the negatives again? Oh, we're in the negatives, but only temporarily, because this is about to complete. Leave anomaly B for now. Hmm. Seems like I'll have to build some extra power plants to maintain everything. Okay, I could... I could build a physics research station here. But I will be colonizing this relatively soon, which m might mean this is not the best idea ever. Also, we're very much starved for energy, which means I should probably get another power plant going. Should I? I probably should. Yes, we need to finance the colonization somehow. Let's do that. It's gonna take a while to construct. Yeah, the colonization is gonna take a long time, so let's build that research station. It will consume some energy as well, but we are building a power plant for it already. Science ship, go on. Unfortunately, we didn't find any more energy in the area. Engineering facility, mineral buff, or spaceports. They're both very important. This is cheaper, so I'll take it. And here... Research speed 5% is useful, very useful. But we are starved for energy, so this might be the better pick here. Administrative AI. Without administrative AI, we might have trouble. Okay, I'm going to take administrative AI for now. Since we have completed the orbital thingy. It's going to save us from major energy trouble. Okay then, what should I colonize first? Maybe this? Unity, so what should we take? Private colony ships and energy grid giving us more unity or building cost and ship cost reduction, ship upkeep reduction, building upkeep reduction. These are going to be super helpful. Private colony ships are very good, though. Like, very, very good. No, these are, like, more global bonuses. So let's start with the left branch. Okay, home. What's going on home? I guess I could buff the research lab engineering facility. Uh, well, the, oh, the upkeep will be increased and the production of uh, science will be increased only slightly. It's probably not the best idea ever. Hmm. Maybe I should do it anyway. Maybe I should do it anyway. Well, I need to get energy, so changing that around we will be losing some food but it's only temporary now science the constructor doesn't have anything to do right now because we are kind of boxed in at the moment but the energy production is going to increase very much very soon okay I guess I could clear these but it's probably not time yet should I, should I 
make my home system amazing first or should I expand a bit first? I feel like I should expand a bit first because I need to control more territory and more resources. This seems like the best choice for our next expansion. Just make sure to get some energy first. Whichever science ship finishes its job first, and you just did, is going uh, this way. So that we can see if it's worth expanding in this direction. I mean, it is worth expanding in this, in this direction, but if it's worth to make it our first pick. Okay, we kind of amassed enough energy to warrant colonization. Uh, and enough minerals to build a colony ship. However, if I could wait three years, I could use a private colony ship, which is much cheaper. And you can save a lot of minerals by doing that. Is it worth it though? Probably not. Probably not worth waiting. Okay. Let's colonize this beautiful system. Uh, this gives energy, so this is the best spot. Here we go. And power, our power consumption is extremely high. But while we still have food, I can keep it this guy here. And I'm not going to clear any blockers right now because we need to amass some energy for the upcoming colonization. Speaking of the upcoming colonization, this ship is going to... Oh no, wait a minute. When our pops grow, we should grow our borders and encompass this system. Which will happen first. Colonization will happen first. So I'm going to send you over here. which will let you start building up stuff here. And we should probably start with uh, the energy extraction site. A free science vessel. It's a Knorr system. Hello, Knorr. Another science vessel ready. It's really cool to not be worried about happiness and just colonize everything. I believe extremely adaptive is a must pick for a hive mind. Okay, the colony ship is on its way, consuming lots of energy, but that can be remedied soon. Soonish. Right. And now it is within our borders, so we can start building mining stations immediately. Doesn't really matter which we build first, so let's just do it like that. All right. It'll take the constructor a little while. So I could theoretically avoid to swap these guys around, but it would be risky. A non-busy science vessel. I'm going to survey everything first, everything within our current reach, and then I'm going to chart the anomalies. Right. Alien writing. Oh, we found aliens, show me. They are the... Their food is what they are. Is this my territory yet? Yes, it is. Right, when you're done, go there. Wonderful. Mm, our next expansion should probably be either here or here. No, here, because it will cost less influence to go there. Science vessel, go uh, this way. And then here. And when you're done, you're, you go here. This way we won't have to, you know, remember to give them orders all the time. Now, mm, sure, research the anomaly. And these guys are almost ready. I guess I can start building a mining network here. League Science Base. Too high level for us right now. And this one, this warrants an autochton monument. Oh, we finished research. What was I researching? 
Oh, faster research. I was researching and achieving better research. Do I need physics labs? Not necessarily. I will certainly need deflectors. I will need deflectors, certainly. And probably more constructor ships. Looking at the rate of expansion. Hmm. Okay, new aliens. What are they? Crap. The game unpaused, so I didn't see what they were. Probably amoebas. They're usually amoebas if they're traveling. Yeah, they're amoebas. Technology. Mm, Batharian. Batharian is not that useful anymore. I guess I can I can do it. Okay, fleet order finished. Colonization is done and we finally have energy again. Should I stick to a single constructor vessel? Maybe I should stick to a single constructor vessel. Let's have a look at our new world. Let's have a look at our new world. I will certainly need more. Oh, actually, Batharian is going to come in handy. I was wrong. We're going to need food for this to grow. And we're going to need. Uh, I could get food here as well. And we're gonna need a bunch of other stuff, but the other stuff can wait a bit. Right, you're growing nicely. I'm gonna clear this tile for more food. Is it time to expand our space yet? Maybe. We can have, what, three core worlds. Oh, Batharian is actually going to be very helpful. Because that atmospheric hallucinogen does not affect us in the slightest. Right, what will be the best spot for a colony? This seems decent. Or, no, that's the best. Here we go then. Gonna take a while. Then we have to make sectors, of course. But sectors are your friends, more or less. Their management can be problematic sometimes, but they get around. Hmm. I kind of want a more unity. Let's do that. Traditions. Private colony ship. No, let's do building upkeep. This is going to increase our income significantly. It doesn't seem to increase our income significantly, but it should. Mm, all right, the science ship. You're level three, so you can mm, you can analyze level one anomalies safely. Deal with those, please. And then I guess we can start expanding, building some wormhole stations. I wonder what's here. Probably nothing, which would be good for us. Mm, but let's keep things economically viable. Although, battle wreckage. Issue special project, show me. Right, research it. Actually, you know what? Research it immediately. And you deal with the other anomaly. And you get me another constructor. That'll do, for now. Kinda wanna get another space port, but that's very expensive. Oh, right, energy's going down because there's another colony ship. Let's have a look at the surface. Well, this will require a hydroponics farm. Uh, 
And that's our new free constructor. Well, mining will have to, you know, take priority, but then we can... Oh, cool. Extra research. And then we can focus on other stuff. Like building wormhole stations and exploring a bit. I hope the hive mind doesn't have space piracy events. Because it wouldn't make sense. Actually, this episode is already quite long, so thank you for watching. I hope you are enjoying this, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.